British billionaire Sir Richard Charles Nicholas Branson is a successful businessman and entrepreneur. He established the Virgin Group in the 1970s, and it now owns more than 400 businesses across a range of industries. Entrepreneur Sir Richard Branson, 71, is reported to have a $4.4 billion net worth. In addition to owning or having owned airplanes, record labels, radio stations, hotels, and numerous other businesses, Branson also published his first magazine at the age of 16. Considering his massive net worth, we all know that he has a lavish lifestyle. So for this video, we'll be looking at Richard Branson's $4.4 billion spending. Welcome to Socialux. Our goal is to provide you with those of luxury, travel, houses, cars, and stories of successful people so you can be inspired to live an abundant, beautiful, and successful life. We upload videos weekly. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and feel free to comment any questions you may have down below. Enjoy! Richard Branson worked arduously and used creativity to become a billionaire. He's well recognized for his travel and tourism empire, but he also frequently establishes new businesses within the Virgin Group umbrella. Branson experienced early success. He started Virgin Records in 1972 and sold it for $1 billion 20 years later. Branson worked so hard to build Virgin Records that when he was forced to sell the business, he sobbed uncontrollably. To raise money for the Virgin Atlantic's airline, he sold Virgin Records. His big profit provided some consolation. Virgin Group now runs 400 businesses and is a sizable conglomerate. Richard Branson has a net worth of roughly $4.4 billion, and Virgin Group generates about $21 billion annually. Although Richard Branson has his hands in many other industries, tourism accounts for the majority of his riches. Over the years, he has launched a number of travel agencies, and his entry into the tourist industry truly took off in the 1980s. In 1984, Branson established Virgin Atlantic, his airline, and Virgin Cargo, his cargo business. He introduced Virgin Holidays in 1985, which led to the expansion of his commercial empire. He then founded Virgin Rail Group and Virgin Mobile in the 1990s. Virgin Blue, Branson's second airline, was introduced in the year 2000. Virgin Blue is currently referred to as Virgin Australia. In 2010, Branson introduced Virgin Hotels, and over the following few years, he intends to significantly grow his hotel company. Virgin Galactic is currently Branson's major priority. One of the leading commercial space travel enterprises in the world is his space tourism business. You can reserve a place aboard the VSS Unity if you have $250,000 to spare. Being able to take a sub-table spaceflight is worth the tiny fee. Anyone, including other billionaires, would be envious of Branson's real estate business. Branson not only owns stunning residences, but also a number of private islands. Of course, Branson, being the savvy businessman that he is, doesn't just leave the islands deserted. Instead, he has transformed them into sought-after vacation spots with first-rate accommodations. Macker Island is undoubtedly Branson's prized treasure. It was the deal of the century because he paid just $180,000 for the lovely island in the Caribbean Sea back in 1978. Today, it is worth nearly $150 million. He spent almost $10 million transforming the island into a luxurious resort that also serves as his home. Branson had been considering buying Necker Island for a while before he did. In 1977, he made an attempt to purchase the Caribbean Utopia, but his $100,000 offer was mocked. Even forcing Branson to find his own way home, the real estate agent offered him a tour of the wonderful island. The worst part of the experience was that Branson was accompanied by a date while he inspected the island. If you expected a free tour of a beautiful island to spark a romantic relationship, you'd be wrong. Instead, Branson was humiliated and his companion was enraged. But in the end, everything worked out because his date became his wife. Now you may be perplexed as to why Branson just wanted to spend $100,000 on such a treasure as Necker Island. Well, at the time, Branson could only afford that. He wasn't as wealthy as he is today. Necker Island is expensive if you plan to stay there for a week. Your costs per night, if you rent out the entire island, will range from $42,000 to $60,000. For $27,000 a week, you can choose to stay in a villa if you don't want to spend that much. 
In either case, staying on this upscale island will cost you a sizable sum of money. Although Necker Island may be the crown jewel of Branson's real estate empire, he also owns other private islands. On the Sunshine Coast of Australia, he also owns Makepeace Island. If Necker Island is out of your price budget, you can still explore this Australian paradise by staying on Makepeace for $10,000 per night. Branson also owns an opulent ski resort in the Swiss Alps and a stunning Moroccan resort named Kasba Tamadut. Of course, Branson gets even richer because of these assets. You'll have to shell out $707 for a night in Kasba Tamadut and $89,916 for a week of exclusive use of Branson's ski lodge. Branson's real estate holdings have seen a tremendous increase in value, so when he eventually decides to sell, he typically reaps a sizable profit. Branson received a whopping $23.12 million for the sale of his mansion in Holland Park, London, and it cost him merely $3.3 million to purchase it. It makes sense to have a private plane when you travel as much as Branson does. Over the years, Branson has owned a number of private aircraft. He originally owned a $16 million Falcon 900EX, but he reduced it to a smaller Falcon 50EX to better suit his needs. For island hopping, the $21 million Falcon 50EX is ideal. One of the reasons Branson is frequently referred to as a fun billionaire is because of his reputation for daring pranks. He crossed the English Channel in a Gibbs Aquata amphibious vehicle in 1 hour and 40 minutes in 2004. Branson looked really awesome in this swift boat, and it was the quickest time ever for such an accomplishment. The rest of us have to take the bus while billionaires get to travel in vehicles that can convert into boats. Branson has performed a number of daring feats throughout the years in addition to driving an amphibious vehicle across the English Channel. The first time such an accomplishment had ever been accomplished, Branson and his co-pilot Perlinstrand crossed the Atlantic Ocean in a hot air balloon in 1987. Branson is so wealthy that he could afford to purchase the most costly sports car available, but because he receives his wheels for free, he can save billions. Branson owns a Range Rover, which Jaguar provides him with a new model each year. You can spend much less on advertising when you have a hip millionaire driving a 4x4. Branson needs to find methods to amuse himself because he spends so much time on Necker Island. He enjoys swimming, surfing, and kiteboarding, but he has also invested in some pricey watercraft that he uses to scout the area. Branson purchased the Necker Nymph, a $550,000 miniature submarine to explore the island's stunning shoreline. You can also hire this fantastic submersible on Necker Island for around $25,000 per week. Branson spent a whopping $6 million on a magnificent 32-meter catamaran back in 2009. He took guests on tours of Necker Island using the boat. The catamaran was purportedly sold by Branson for $3 million. The week-long chartered cruises, which cost $60,000 each, let him make a lot of money even though he sold the boat at a loss. Okay, now recall how we said Branson likes to go on adventures? Well, what could possibly be more adventurous than a thrilling safari? The Masai Mara National Reserve is home to a tented safari camp owned by Branson. For roughly $590 per night, you may book a room here if you're thinking about visiting Kenya. The 12 suite camp is eco-friendly and provides breathtaking views of the nearby wildlife. You can witness Africa's huge migration if you stay here between July and September. Additionally, the resort has a spa in a 40-foot infinity pool. Branson also owns a number of assets in South Africa, including a resort named Ulusaba in the Sabi Sands Game Reserve and a 26-room hotel in Vineyard near Cape Town. Richard Branson has a reputation for supporting humanitarian projects with both his time and money. Branson devotes a significant amount of his time and resources to Virgin Unite, the Virgin Group's autonomous philanthropic organization. And that's all for today's video. What do you think of Richard Branson's spendings? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoy everything luxurious, check out our other videos. And if you like them, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Until our next video, see you then.